man, do we need to get to combine in our wheat. I think I'm gonna go fill up the truck at the gas station, get a cup of coffee, and let's get started. Alright, so we got our coffee in us, and now we need to beat the rain. We probably shouldn't have filled up the truck here. I don't know about you guys, but I always check my oil while I'm at the gas station. People probably think I'm weird, but it's just a reminder for me. Check oil while you're at the gas station. It's important. Alright, so if you can't see it up there in the forecast there, we got rain coming. Oh, oh there's Buck over there. Looks like he uh, is filling up over there at the gas station too. Let's see what he's doing today. What you doing, Buck? Oh, I was just going inside to get a roll. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I just got a uh, cup of coffee. I need to get started here because I need to beat this rain coming up. Did you see that on yeah, the forecast? I heard yeah, I heard about that. Lucky for me, I'm I'm off today. Apparently, they um, unless they I'm I'm on call for the dealer, but they're they're taking their hours like fairly seriously now. So it's kind of nice that once we get that settled, roll in. It's not like I'm sitting here at ten o'clock at night having someone call me asking about a dream they had about a grain cart. But we're also um, it wasn't Grant, was it? <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. Um, but we are. I'm just kind of chilling out here. I'm finally able to get some stuff done on my own farm. I'm. I'm finally gonna see it again. Like you said, I'm trying to beat the rain here. I still have to go grab a few pieces of equipment, as well as I'm gonna go pick up that international down at uh, Jake's today. But then I gotta get back and I gotta mow my yard. All right. Well, I'll leave you to it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. You sound like a busy man. Yeah, not a little bit, but I got some time. Especially talking with people like you. Kind of yeah. fun. Well, good old, uh, good in the neighborhood. Yep. It was a joy talking to you, but I need to beat this rain, so I'll let you here, go. Here. All right. Let's, let's get battle. That was good talking to uh, Buck there while we parked our truck right in the middle of the gas station. You could do that at a small city like this. Can't get away with that in a big city. You'll get a whole bunch of nice four-letter words thrown at your direction. So we need to get back to the farm. We've got a whole bunch of equipment we need to get to our field. So if you don't know, we own a pretty big field of wheat that we need to get harvested. I don't know if we're going to get it all in before this rain, but man, do we need to hurry. So we got a combine. That's basically all we got, and we need to go get that to the field. Let's get to it. All right, so we're hooking up this uh, header. We're going to take this header down to the field over there. I really like this header because you don't have to trailer it every time. That saves time, especially when you're trying to beat the rain. Let's get to the field. So this is our lovely field of wheat that we need a combine, and man is it big. So this is the first time I'm really combining this field. I think I'm going to pull off right over here is a good spot. We're going to put the header. Woo! Talk about a reckless driver there. Wow, stay out of that person's way. Don't mind me, I'm just pulling a 45 foot header here. All right, now that that's unhooked, we need to get back. So we got a lot of trucks to get to the field and we got a lot of combines to get to the field. So gotta run back and forth quite a bit here. 
Unfortunately, a few of these times we're going to have to walk. Luckily, we're not too far. So, really need to get uh, something better for this instead of walking back and forth to the farm. But, got to do what you got to do. We're starting out here, so we got to start, start smart. Alright, so we're starting up our truck here. We're gonna hook it up to our uh, our dump trailer over here, our Travis dump trailer. All right, so we got the trailer hooked up. We're gonna pull this to the field. Man, do I not like these gates! All right, we made it through the gate for the first time in a long time. All right, I don't know where the best place is to uh, unload this truck. So, it's going to be uh, tricky. I'm going to have to decide where the best place is. I think it may be uh, just off the road here by the chapel. Let's we'll see where the best place to turn around here is. Maybe we'll uh, just go into the non-field uh, part of our neighbor's field here. Alright, so we'll leave this truck right here. Should be a good spot for it. I don't think it'll get stuck there, hopefully. Now we gotta walk all the way back to the farm. Oh, man. Of course, I'm gonna use my little grain truck here. Don't know if I'll ever sell this thing, just because... It's just so convenient to have a grain truck. Well, better stay out of my neighbor's corn over there. I think you'll be happy about that. There we go. Get it going here. There we go. Pulling along here. So I just think this combination just looks so good going down the road. Don't know if I'll ever sell this. I'm going to have to get a pretty good uh, price if I'm selling this, but... I'm a dealership, so everything's for sale for a certain price. Alright, so we're going to try to turn around just like we did the other truck. Good thing is this one actually has a turn radius that isn't uh, super wide. we got to watch out for this uh, crazy traffic. Watch out for that bush, too. There we go think maybe I uh, was gonna try to squeeze I think I can make it there we go talk about crazy traffic had to get out of the way there there we go so that's good Now, though, I have to walk back again to get Beast Spine. Oh, man. All right, so we just got done greasing up Beast Spine, looking it over and everything. I wonder what this shovel is put here for. Don't think that's from the dealer. I don't know why that last farmer put that. Maybe to... To scrape out all the cab corn, maybe? To scrape off the cab corn off the top of the cab? I don't know. Oh yeah, there it goes. Starts right up. Let it warm up a little bit here. Get to going. So, we're going here. Man, did... I know I say this all the time, but I really don't like these gates. Got to do something about that pretty quick. Oh, we made it through. All right. That uh, shovel down there has some weird uh, handles on it. It has little clips or something. It's like stuff you cut your hand on. Weird. Everything else looks good though. Everything's running good. We already turned on the separator and turned on good. So 
we got pretty high uh, separator hours on here, but it was recently serviced. So, I know coming from... Or turn on our blinkers. Coming from uh, Montana, this uh, thing is probably already set for wheat. So that's good. So we've got to run down here, pick up our header, start combining this huge field of wheat. I think I'm going to put a... Uh, basically, I want to bale the straw just because, let's face it, we're broke and I need money. But uh, that just means we're going to have to buy a tractor and baler, but hopefully uh, that'll help pay for that. I don't really know why I put the header all the way down here, but I think I'll probably just start right where I placed it, run down the field there. Don't think I'm going to be making crazy high yield, but you never know. Oh man, there's a sign right here I gotta watch out for. Okay, take this nice and slow. Turn off our flashers there. All right, so let's start this combine up. All right, so now we're started. There we go. Start cutting along here. Yeah, Ooh, nicely. I really like how this combine sounds. It sounds mean. Like a beast. Header's working good. Combine looks like it's working good. Here in a little bit we'll get out and make sure we're not pushing too much past the rotor or the sieves. Oh, are you kidding me? We are making a hundred and about 86 bushels, 187 bushels an acre. Dude, Iowa is a place to farm. I know this is probably a miracle field, but man, is that... That's a lot of bushels per acre there. So I really like how this field uh, kind of has a old church in it. Seems kind of cool. So, when I was growing up, one of our fields had an old uh, active church still on the corner of it. It was always kind of cool seeing the church in the background. So it just feels kind of like home to me. Go, go around, mow their backyard for them. Beautiful stained windows on that church over there. So we already got 240 bushels. Man, are we putting in the bushels Maker over here. Gonna need all them trucks hauling. So, unfortunately, we don't have any help. So, uh, I was gonna ask Austin if he wanted to help out, but he, he ended up helping out uh, Jake today. Jake's got a lot of hay he needs to get off his field 
already, so it's way behind. I'm pretty sure that hay got rained on too, so so he's helping him out. So he can't really help us out. It's unfortunate, but that's how you have to do it when you're starting out. Maybe we can get a hired help one of these days. Help us out. Not that big of a farmer though, so I don't know if we really need too much help. Okay, this field is huge, so I can't stop from having to fill up. So I got 450 bushels on here. Probably should be taking it a little bit slower around here with that much weight on this combine. Can somebody say grain cart? Man, I really need a grain cart. This field is going to take me forever. I don't know if I'm going to beat the rain this way. So we're unloading here into our truck. Looks like a pretty quick unloader. Good old combine here. Looks like we're getting the front filled up. And we're gonna have to all right just got it shut off just in time now we'll fill up the wagon all right so now we got that filled up now we gotta head all the way back I'm trying to get an outside path cut around this field and it is taking forever So I don't know if you could see that or not, but it just started raining. So it's just sprinkling right now, but we aren't even done with the first pass around this field yet. Man, did I think that we were going to get a few hours at least cutting, but this is painful. This is farming. Come on, hold off for a few more hours. I'd like to get some more done than this. Looks like we're gonna have to go run back to the truck here pretty soon. Anyways, hopefully it doesn't start downpouring. So we're racing over here. So we basically, we need to hurry, 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 trying to beat this rain. So the good thing is, is this crop was really dry so we should at least be able to take some of the sprinkles but if it keeps downpouring for next 15 20 minutes or sprinkling there's no way we're gonna be able to keep going fill up this truck as soon as I uh, fill up this truck, I'm going to have to tarp it. Forgot to tarp it last time. I definitely don't want to get in this rain. Alright, so we're going to have to tarp this really quick here. 
Alright, we got that truck tarped. Looks like uh, once it... We'll at least try to fill up both uh, our trucks, hopefully, before we get rained out. Alright, turn this combine on. Man, that sounds good. Get going here. So, looks like we're still running dry enough. So even though it's sprinkling, the good thing is, is this wheat was left in the field way too long, so it's a little dry, it could take this, but it's also bad because it's so dry where it'll soak it up really quickly too. So it's like dead dead, so hopefully I can at least fill up both trucks over there but we'll have to see how far we get so we're on our what is this this is our fourth load we still have not made it around this field man are we going to get a lot of uh bushels off of this field so we're still not rained out pretty close but we're not yet like i said i'm really trying to fill these trucks up Hopefully. There we go. Fill that truck up there. So I think we're probably still going to try to get one more load at least. I think that's. We'll top it off. And Hopefully. Alright, so we're still trying to get trucks full. I don't know, we'll probably get docked. Alright. Well. Well, it looks like our fields are too wet. That is unfortunate. We will take this combine over there. It's too bad. Really hoping to fill up the trucks at least today. We'll probably park this... Oh, I can't get in over there. Uh, uh, I'll back it up over here. Brave it going down the highway here quickly. This is probably not a good idea. Oh man. Oh. Make it oh, just barely. These 45 foot headers are so wide. We put our flashers on. Oh man. The good thing is our neighbor's field over here is implanted, so we'll try to not compact it, but we do have a huge LSWs on. I'm going to probably have to ask forgiveness from the neighbor. Not sure whose field this is. Maybe the squads? I don't know. So we have to get right past that chapel there. Cars just traffic's horrible right now. All right, go past this. There we go. So this field is harvested, so we should be able to just go through this field. All right, so we're gonna leave it right parked right here. Probably isn't advised leaving it this close to the highway here. But don't want to drive this thing all the way home. Or the header.
Well, at least the combine worked good for us today. So we didn't get that much harvested. Oh man, I forgot to close the cover on this trailer. Oh, I do need to take this truck. So I know I have storage at the at the house though, because I got a good deal on some grain bins, but I don't have an auger yet, so I haven't found one yet for good price. So I think I'm just gonna take this directly to the co-op. Let's pull up on my phone who has the best. We'll take it to the co-op. They're having a fairly good deal on uh, wheat. Oh man, I'm gonna get a ticket. We gotta slow down. It's only 30 mile an hour right here. We're going, so I'm not. This would be the first time I'm going here. For sure. I think we go through the stoplight here. Alright, so I took a wrong turn. I have to go over the train tracks. So I think that car almost uh, T-boned me there. Uh, scared the crap out of me. Here we go. Oh man, I just barely missed that train. That was sketchy. Whew. Alright, so we just got the truck unloaded there. I think we made just over $12,000. Not too much, but enough, I guess. So we're going to get this back. We're probably just going to drive this back to the lot. Park it back there. Looks like... Jake might be coming up here. Hey, Jake, what's up? Hey, not much. I guess I caught you right at the right time, huh? Yeah, I just got rained out. How about you? Same, same. <laughs> yep. It's supposed to rain all the way through tomorrow, even, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get my weed out, and it's way late. Oh, shoot. Uh, where, where are you selling it at? I'm selling it at the co-op right now, so... I don't really yeah. have storage. Well, I do have storage. I just don't have a auger yet, so I'm looking for one. If you gotcha. find one, let me know. So, looking for a deal. Yeah, I'll I'll keep a lookout. I'll I'll ask around. But uh, speaking of looking for something here, I I've been driving by a few days and I I saw you had a a sprayer trailer here for a semi. I kind of wanted to check that thing out. Oh yeah, it's right over here. It's our Wilson uh, drop deck here. Okay. So it even has some of the last uh, company's uh, chemicals on it. You can use some <laughs> Roundup and some bags of, I think, fertilizer. Uh, so it has two 6,000 gallon tanks on it. Okay. One that goes over the back two axles. So the back two axles are slightly spread. So this is a 1996 Wilson drop deck trailer made into a fertilizer trailer. Hmm. How so, uh How much do you, how much do you want for this thing? So it's it was just reserviced, so the brakes and everything are brand new. Uh, all the brake lines were replaced, so being it's older, about 10 years, over 10 years, or 20 years old, sorry. Uh, needed a couple of tune-ups, so I was thinking about 25. What do you think? 25? Um, yeah, honestly, I'd say that's a fair price. Really? All right. Yeah. Let's shake yeah, on it. Yeah, I don't have any problem with that. It's the co-op's money, so. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, is there paperwork we got to fill out here, anything? And uh... Well, if you need it right now, you can take it, but we can uh, do the paperwork anytime. If you have time today, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, I can do that, and I'll give you the, uh, I'll give you the check here and everything as well so you can get that cashed and 
I might not be able to get out here to pick it up today, if that's okay. Uh, just because the co-op semi is actually still stuck in the field. And since it's been raining for two days now, it's not coming out anytime soon. Oh, man. That thing might be a week or so. So, uh... <laughs> Well, if you really need it, you can borrow one of my semis, but otherwise you can grab it whenever you want. It'll be right here waiting for you. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be honest with you. I, I pretty much had my mind made up like two, three days ago when I saw it that I wanted to buy it. So whatever price you threw out, I was, I was pretty much just going to pay it. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> I don't want to give you a bad deal. Means you've helped me out, so I think that's a fair deal. I appreciate it. Oh, um, I actually had a question to ask. Yep. So that field that we helped you out with uh, a few days ago or whenever it was, um, would would it be all right if Austin and I came out and we bailed up that straw that we put down? Oh, yeah. I don't know how uh, good it'll be with this rain on it, but you guys are it'll, welcome to it. it it'll, it'll probably not be the best, but honestly, we're looking to to get into some cattle business. And we don't need it to be great, you know what I mean? Yep, just need Cattle it for bedding. Pick it. Yep, yep. All right, all right. Yep, no problem. Help, help yourselves to it. So hopefully it's not too uh, dirty with all this rain, but it I guess be all we'll right. see if there's even even any left after all of this. <laughs> yeah, the wind rolls are pretty big, so it should be at least yeah. something there. So we got rained out, which was unfortunate. We barely got anything harvested, so we still got a lot to do. And we left our house door open. How? Man, good thing we live far in the country. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.